but if I can say this, you you will not stop the work of the Lord just because you scoffing on the internet. That's right. Everything everything comes with it, with a little bit of irritation. You want to go to a picnic outside on a wonderful day? What are you gonna have to do? Flies. Flies all over the place. Mosquito. If you're near the water, mosquitoes all over the place. But you say, you know what? I'm just gonna keep doing. We're gonna enjoy ourselves. We knew the flies was gonna be out here, so what are we complaining about, right? You want to go catch a movie, brand new movie coming out. You walk in the movie theater, about to sit down. You try to walk to your seat, your feet sticking to the yeah. to the ground. Smell something smell funny. Some smell. Somebody peed in there. Yeah. Somebody left a baby diaper in there. Yeah. All kind of stuff. But you say, you know what? I'm just gonna watch this movie. It's the same thing we do with you scoffers on online. Actually, sometimes you you fuel us for more little sit downs and break them. So all this, everything comes with a cost. And in this, and in the Lord's work, that's what you got to do. These weak-minded scoffers out there on the internet. So like, that's right. That's right. It says that, uh, and and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Uh, yeah. Thirty. Thirty. Okay. It says, and when this come to pass, when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. That's right. So when all these things come to pass, they gonna know. Oh snap! These, these guys that look crazy in these dresses, GMS, who we call, who we deem rapists, you know what I'm saying, pedophiles, uh, basically lied on. Oh, uh, they was telling the truth, man. But you gonna understand that by pain, death by pain, man. You know? Did you have more than that? No, that was it on there. Oh, go ahead. This is uh, uh, Second Ezra's, uh, I'm going to start at uh, 8 and 55. I started at 54. Uh, sorrow are, the sorrows are past, and in the end is shown the treasure of immortality. And therefore, as no more, Questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Mm -hmm. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the most high, thought the scorn of his law, and forsook his way, his ways. Well, break it down. You, ba you, you basically try to try to foot it, or you, you trampled on uh, Yahweh Shai. Like you didn't care about uh, the sun, man. You didn't care about Yahweh Shai. Come on, come on. Moreover, they had trodden down his righteousness and said in their heart that there is no God, yea, and 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 that knowing they must die. And then now, now you now you know that you must die because you can't say where, where were our accusers in, the, in that day. We're out in the streets, man. The the videos were being put up on the internet, letting you know daily on a daily basis, rising up, rising up early. You know, you have no uh, excuse anymore. You know. This, 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 this gospel is going to reach the four corners of the earth. And it's already going to the four corners of the earth, man. That's why things are speeding up to the prophecy being fulfilled, man. That's right. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. That's right. Bro. Everything that's going on here in America, man, all the racial tension is rising. That was that everybody thought was asleep back in, what, in the 70s or whatever, you know. Yep. It, it, it's back again, man. 60s. Yep. It's back. But now you're going to have to, uh, now, now you're going to have to learn it. Through death, man, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be destroyed because of, you rejected, you tried in the you tried in the sun under your foot, man. The law, the law, that the commandments. But ultimately, it was Yahweh Shai. He is the law. He tells you on how to be. To be, he, he's the he's the example, man. On how we should walk. Not only did you trample Yahweh Shai under your foot, you trampled his messenger. You took his messenger. You completely scoffed that. You made their job. A lot harder than what it should have been. You, 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 like the brother said, you falsely accused him of rape, calling the cops on us, this, that, and the other. We try to put up edifying stuff online, and all you doing is, is scoffing. You making a sport out of scoffing. So all you people are gonna have to learn. And, there, and there's only one good way to teach a man, and that's to kill his ass. It's a lot. Yeah, and right. if I'm not a stater, and the the, the, uh, the rock music genre. They got a, 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 a rock band or a, a genre of rock called scoff, scoffing. That and, and, and I never heard it, but that's what they have that type of rock now that where they're just being basically just rebellious, badass kids, rock, you know, singing and stuff. That's the name of that genre of rock is, is scoff, scoffing. 
you know? And then and who's that? Who's doing that? Eat them my son. And also you two thirds, but now like a brother said, they make it a sport. It's a bunch of foolery, man. It's gonna get you destroyed. Ezra's nine, uh, yeah, nine and nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. That's right. Those that cast the law, cast your house shot away despitefully, now you shall dwell in torment. You say his name don't matter. You say, then the other half say you don't have to keep the law. Then one half says. Keep the law, but don't believe on your house shot. All you people are gonna to have to learn. You're gonna to have to be taken off the earth. Cause you you just don't get it. You just don't get it. You don't wanna get it. That's right. But we don't we don't com not complain, but we don't get too angry about that because the prophecies and the scriptures tell us that that's how it's going to be. That's when right. we put up these videos and when we're out here talking, a majority of the time we're talking to each other. We're putting these videos out. For other, these are our epistles to the other churches. Cause we know you niggas out there ain't listening. We know you niggas out there ain't trying to get it. We just, we're, we're talking to other brothers. We're talking to brother in San Angelo. We're talking to the brothers in Houston. We're talking to the apostles in New York. We're talking to the brothers in, in uh, Mississippi. That's what we're doing. We're not worried about y'all because we know from reading and understanding the scriptures that you niggas ain't got it. You didn't have it, you ain't got it, and you're not gonna get it. That's right. You're gonna have to die. So we look at y'all. Well, actually, we don't even look at y'all. We look right past y'all. We don't even wanna hear what you say. We don't wanna hear your response. Like I said, we pick and choose things that you say on your little on the comment board, and we say to ourselves, okay, well, cool. We can go ahead and break that down the right way. Uh -huh. Not to not to get to you, not to, to change you. To get your, get our leak back. It's like exercise. Mm -hmm. We practice it. We're, we're, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. We know when we breaking down who the Gentiles are, you niggas ain't listening. We're talking to the other churches. Putting up precepts and this, things like that to share those things with other churches so that we can be built up and be edified. We ain't working for you scoffers. You scoffers are gonna die. Why would I put effort and time and sweat into somebody who's about to get burnt up? That's right. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. So you have churches like IUIC, ISUPK, you receive benefits on the sun. You're on TV, you're on different news stations, you got this big church built up, you're talking about being on BET. You're, you, you have received your reward, which is a, a carnal gift on this side. We are looking for our reward in due time. Y'all are good. The world knows y'all, the world knows what you're about, and they accept you. Why? Because you say the same thing they do. You telling, uh, you you pushing, still pushing Jesus. That's right. Jesus Christ. That's right. Jesus Christo, that's what you preaching. We coming in, in, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You are not like us. You got your reward, your pretty garments, when the people see them on the on the street, they say, man, look at them. They so together. Yeah, so they so nice. nice looking. They talk so good. Yep. Look at them. You got women, they'll bring their little sons over there and you just go be like them. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that they are marked for death. Go ahead. For they have have loathed my law while they had yet. What does that word loathe mean? That word loathe means hate. And one of the laws is to believe on the name. And they hate that. They hate to believe on the name. Just like the, the I believe the Pharisees of old, the scribes of old, they hated to believe on Yahweh Shah. Hated so much, they wanted to kill him. What did they do? They went to the so-called white man and said, get him out of here. Get this, get this nigga out of here. He's talking about salvation is him. They're doing IUIC, ISUPK, they're doing the same thing to the brothers in Great Millstone that are preaching the truth. They're doing the same thing. We are ambassadors. We are sent in the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So they're gonna naturally treat us the same way. That's right. But for us, it's a good thing because we know we're on the right track. That's right. All we gotta do is keep pushing it, keep doing what we're doing, 
and in due time, we'll be the ones with our finger doing it. We got the last lap. I told you. Uh, if you say that I keep your eyes single, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you, you focus, gotta... focus on the, the that goal, man. That's the key thing, man, is understanding, to, to have understanding and, and you'll receive wisdom. But you have to stay on that path, you know, which we're taught from the elders all the way down, man. We've got to continue on that path. We can't go to the left or to the right. That's right. And one thing that the brothers were making comment about, I don't, I don't know what elder made it, but made the comment that our minds are closed. Once we come into this truth, our minds shut. That's right. Our, they completely shut unless the Lord, unless you're not the elect, they're going to open up and be taken by all these uh, different ph ph philosophies and doctrines. That's right. Come. Uh, this is verse 11. And they that have uh, loved my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. That's right. You got half the people saying the law is done away with, other halves making this assumption. You had Martin Luther, he wanted to take the book of James out of the pocket book because James talked about having faith. And that equates with your works, your works being the law, those things together, and you'll be in a good case. So he saw, he got that understanding, he said, no, no, we can't have that. So he was trying to take the book of James out. Not knowing that in, in the book of Matthew, Yahweh himself said the same thing. The law is not done away with. So these people are out here, they, they hate the law. They hate the law, they hate the name, they hate all things that make you have to dig your 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 nails, your teeth into righteousness. That's right. Because they don't want to do it. That's right. Call it that fallow ground. That's right. God. Break it up. God, they don't want to do that. They want to be able to be a nigga in a garment. They want to be black Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. Instead of Hebrew Israelites. They still want to say Jesus because if you preach in the name of Jesus, it's no controversy. So if you preach in the name of Jesus and you ask for tithes, you're in a good case. But if you preach in the name of Yahweh Bob Shemi Yahweh Shah and ask for tithes, you're going to be hurting. You're going to be hurting. That's right. <laughs> you ask for money and donations, you're going to be hurting. These people out here, they don't come in that name. Go ahead. Cut. I need to cut you off. Cut. Cut. The, same, the same must know it after death by pain. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and win, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, uh, whose the world is and, and for whom the yeah. world is created. Uh, we, like said, we, we ain't concerned about you scoffers. We already know y'all's faith, man. It's sealed. Mm -hmm. if you, you're not, the the two-thirds are not written in the, uh, the book of life. Man. You know, the, the 144,000, the one-third, sure. those are the ones that are going to uh, that are going to be redeemed. All right, those are the ones we're worried about. That's who we're fishing for, the elect. That's right. You know, and we're, that's what we're trying to find different ways on how to uh, draw in the elect. But ultimately, it's not about putting on the show. It's about being honest, man. The truth. You know? and that's it. And then the, the elect's gonna come in, on the road, and they are eventually. You know? That's right. But I got a uh, one script. Uh, this is a uh, first or second Thessalonians chapter 2 uh, verse 11 it says and for this cause the most high shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness y'all put y'all y'all have pleasure in, in unrighteousness so the most high is gonna, he's gonna turn you over to your destruction that's your that's your reward man because you you, you believed in a lie. You want you, you wanted to uh, cast away the uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, and therefore the Lord is going to turn you over to your own destruction. That's right, man. That's like right. it says in Wisdom and so or, uh, Proverbs chapter one, man, that your reward, He's going to feed you your your reward. And when your calamity comes, He's going to laugh at you. He's going to mock at you because of everything that you've done. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So you 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 put all you put all the laws of the Most High aside, but when you can, when it comes time for you to need something or something's about to happen, what's, who's the first thing that you call on? The Most High, right. the Creator of the heavens and earth. Please come into my life and save me from this. No, you haven't done anything that the Creator of heaven and earth has asked you to do. 
You've been living your life totally on your own terms. So therefore, since you trust in yourself, like the scripture said, the Most High is going to laugh. The Most High said, well, you know, you trust in yourself, so get yourself out of it. Or you trust in a tree, go ask that tree. See if that tree will get you out of it. Yeah. Every year on the 25th, you trusting in a tree. You trusting in this, that, and the other. So go to those things in your time of calamity. That's right. That's right. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 27, it says, Saying to a stock, Thou art my father, and to a stone, Thou hast that. brought me forth. But they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. Mm -hmm. But in the time of their trouble, they shall say, Arise and save us. Mm -hmm. But where are thy, thy gods that thou hast made thee? Mm -hmm. Let them arise, if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. That's right. Just like you trusted in George Bush in the time of Katrina. That's, what's, that's how it's going to be for you. Just like now you trust in Obama. Where, when, when all this stuff started happening, call on Obama and see if he helps you. When all this stuff starts happening, call on that Christmas tree. Call on that uh, Easter bunny. Pastor. Call on your pastor. Your pastor's gonna be running right along, with, right along with you. Call on all these guys that you created and see if they will help you. They're not gonna do a damn thing. What is a tree gonna do in the time of, of calamity? Be a tree, sit there. That's right. Have a little shade if it's summertime. That's right. If it's wintertime, it's just going to be sitting there. It's going to get turned up. Yeah, well, exactly. That's right. What Keisha going to do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. As good as her pussy is, she, she ain't ready to save you, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You you, you know, you, you up on your woman all day long, have uh, chovers in the flesh debating whether or not to come to camp because cause baby boo want to go see uh, uh, the remake of uh, Ghostbusters Part 3. Yeah. You know? and you scoffing, Edomites, or whatever nations are scoffing, we know y'all don't get it. We're not trying to give it to you. Why would I be trying to give you something that the Most High doesn't want you to have? If I'm doing that, I'm going to end up out there with you. I don't want you to have it. I want you to be blind. I want you to take that fall. You don't want to get right, I don't want you to get right. Go ahead. Walk off into the sunset and be burned. Go ahead. Second Ezra's 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Mm -hmm. And when thou seest uh, see uh, parts of the signs uh, past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world. And that's what's going on. When, when you see what's going on in Venezuela, the Most High is visiting the world. When you're hearing about the things that's going on in Dallas, most High is visit, visiting the world. When has a so-called black man, as, a, as the story is told, we don't know if it's necessarily true or not, but because that's what that, what's out there, we'll go with it. When has a so-called black man took up arms, shot at the police in the name of defending black people? When has that happened? Shit, it's, if, you were, if you were in the right mind, you would say, oh shit, man, it's that time. It's going down, because niggas are docile. Especially that top tribe, Judah. Docile, they ain't worried about nothing. Nothing but some Jordans, they old lady, the kids, they mama especially, that's what they worried about. They ain't trying to be out here on these streets doing different things and being a part of nothing. And if they are in a march, that's only because they want to show off their latest fashions. Yep. They not worried about the mission statement of the march. The niggas are in line thinking about the hoes that are there. 
the women are in line thinking about the man.